Welcome to another Power Pivot screencast from Michelle and Ed. My name is Michelle Hart and I'm a technical writer for Microsoft. This video is fifth in a series about using Power Pivot to import data into an Excel workbook. In this video, I show you how to import data from an Excel worksheet and maintain a link between the data in the worksheet and the data in Power Pivot. The table I created in the previous video is static because once I pasted the data, they are not automatically updated. But I can also create link tables that automatically reflect changes made to the source. Link tables must reference Excel tables found in the same workbook as the Power Pivot data. This is an important concept to understand. When you're working with Power Pivot in an Excel workbook, that one workbook has an Excel window and a Power Pivot window. The Excel window has one or more worksheets, and the Power Pivot window has one or more tabs, with each tab representing a table. To create a linked table, the source table must exist in an Excel worksheet in the same workbook. A link cannot be created to an external Excel workbook. So, in order to create my linked table, I first open the Excel file that contains the data to which I'd like to create a link. The name of the file is Regions. I copy the data I need and close the Regions file to avoid confusion. In a blank sheet in my Excel window, I paste the Regions data and I'm going to rename this sheet Regions. Now to create the link. With the new data highlighted, select the Power Pivot tab and click Create Linked Table. When I click OK, my Power Pivot window opens and I see that a new table has been created. Notice the icon on the tab. Rename this table Regions also. And now let's check the link. Click Go to Excel Table. I'm back in the source Excel file. I'll change UK to Great Britain and then return to my Power Pivot window. The corresponding row has been updated to the new value as well. I've added data from my personal Excel worksheet and created a link to keep the data up to date. I recommend watching the videos in this series in order, especially if you're following along using your own installation of Power Pivot for Excel. Some of the steps in one video build upon steps taken in a previous video. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. I hope you found it helpful.